in the studio with me today is staff nurse Sarah Duffy from the Royal Free Hospital in North London, who's been chosen for the outstanding and compassionate care she gave to a teenager suffering with anorexia. Before you hear from Sarah, let's hear just some of the words from her patient, Jade. Sarah deserves this award because she really cares for everyone she works with. Sarah was always there for me, even in her own time. She would listen to me whenever I was upset. We would sit, talk and work through my problems for as long as it took. If I got really upset, she would know how to come and distract me. During meals, the most difficult times, she would ensure there was a good conversation to keep us going and make sure everyone was OK and support us as best she could with prompts, distraction and kind words. Now I'm an outpatient and she's still my key worker. She emails me even when she's busy or not on shift. I don't think anyone could deserve this award more. And that was Jade spoken by the voice of uh, one of my LBC colleagues and staff nurse Sarah Duffy is with me now. So, staff, or can I call you Sarah? Sarah. Sarah, thank you. What attracted you to nursing? Um, I think many things. I don't know that I, I, there was ever really a moment where I said I want to be a nurse. I think it's not... I don't really see it as a job that I wanted to do. I think when you, you do nursing, it's more of a vocation. So it's something that's either in you or it's not. You don't just do it for, you know, n making the ends meet. No. It's and the work you, you do at the Royal Free, is it specifically to do with eating disorders and younger people? Yes, yeah, so I work in a CAMS unit with eating disorders. Sorry, what's CAMS? What does that mean? Uh, child and adolescent mental health services. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, right. John, okay. So what age, typically what age grouping are we talking about? I mean, our service goes up to their 18th birthday, but we've got patients as young as 10 in the service. What, suffering with things like anorexia? Yeah. Um, the years you've been doing this, have you seen the cases increasing, decreasing, roughly the same? Um, I've only been there for two years, so I'm not sure that I could really mm. say w whether it's increased or not. I mean, clearly, h how old is Jade, by the way? 14. And is she doing better now? Is she... She's still got a, a long way. She's right. work, she's overcome a lot and she, she is working incredibly hard. Do you know the expression taking work home with you? Yeah. Yeah. How do you not let it dominate your life? Because you must get very close to patients and that's why you and all the fantastic finalists that we're meeting through this week, that's why you've been nominated because you're great at what you do. But there has to be a point at which you get to your front door or you get off the bus or out the car or whatever it might be. You say, right, that's it. I've got to concentrate on my husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, children, whatever it might be. It's difficult. I mean, I'm really lucky and fortunate in terms of the team I work with are so supportive and we have a lot of support to manage them them sort of boundaries that we need but I think that that's it if you are a nurse especially in sort of children's and cams it is who you are so you you are going to take it with you it's how you just I suppose barrier yourself from letting it not affect you being able to deal with them difficult feelings and keep it in your minds but not let it impact your life and how important is the team camaraderie is that the way to sort of let off steam to go out for perhaps half a glass of wine uh, at the end of a busy week I wouldn't, I wouldn't say half a glass of wine but we, we have a lot of like debriefs and a lot of talks with um sort of supervision Do you? yeah and team facilitation which is really helpful we're able to sort of offload our thoughts and feelings then get other people's opinions and it you know it's without the, the team support i think it would be so much harder and just lastly are are we understanding more of what causes anorexia yeah i believe so i think we're still massively well we're, 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 there's still a lot to be done in order to get everyone to understand it for what it is but it's it's come on a lot from where it was i think the general conceptions of eating disorders have changed what times your shift start Eight, eight o'clock this morning. <laughs> <laughs> you better get gone then. What time are you working until? 8.30 tonight. Oh, have a good one. Staff nurse Thanks. Sarah Duffy. Thank you, Sarah, from the Royal Free Hospital. You can vote for Sarah. You can find out more details. The vote closes on April 29th. Go to lbc.co.uk. Welcome to a very special ITV News London and LBC debate. We have a month to go until you decide London's next mayor.